Victor after him crying this morning and me saying nothing wrong with you sent him to school they called me up said can I pick him up because he's crying there he is there look where are you Dexter hmm you can't see him he's behind me and there he is he seems to have made a miraculous recovery but they don't want to see him until Thursday because there's no school tomorrow because the teachers are on strike no because um, some teachers half the teachers are probably going to be on strike and there's, there's not enough teachers to teach everyone no so and we're just dropping off a loaf of bread to somebody on my estate and then we're going to see opticians because my mother wants some different glasses. So, right, can you go and drop that off, Dex? Which one? Which door is it? The one with the dragon on the on the door. The one where we got the bike off the lady. Bought a stunt bike off um, the lady on the seat. That's the one Dexter broke the day he had it. And it's now in the garage, redundant, because Warren ordered the wrong bolt. Oh. What's that? I bought a stunt bike off that lady oh, and Dexter see. snapped the bolt on it the first day of using it. So we ordered a new <coughs> bolt and um, he ordered the wrong one. So Why do not he get another one then? Because we just haven't... Um, we haven't bothered getting one. He looks sick, doesn't he? <laughs> Nothing wrong with him. I had a call to pick him up. He'll have to... He'll have... Well, I haven't got one planned, but you know me. If one pops up, I'll probably do it. I'll let you know. Um, yeah, what was I even saying? I don't know. Um, but Dex says, yeah, I've got to come on my little things with me. Opticians next for glasses for Flosso. You want new glasses, don't you? What? Grandma wants new glasses. So we're just going to pop in there and see well. whether they put her lenses into a new frame or whether she just buys a brand new pair of glasses. Dexter needs his glasses straightening because they're bent again. Oh, you can't just have new ones. Are they too? Actually, I might ask them if the frames can be changed because they're, bro they're broken so many times. Can I, can probably I, have to pay for that. Can I literally just change to a different one? Like, um, like I'll I ask him. I want not the old, not like plastic, like the see-through ones. A plastic, like the ones that I had my balloons in. Cause they, they have survived without even having a the optician. A single. We'll time see when we get there. Um. What else? Yeah. Then I'm going to meet my friends in Morrison's, and I'm still going to go because um, it's been arranged. And then I've got no food collection um, arranged for tonight, but if one pops up, I might do it. And then I've got the kids at home tomorrow because, yeah, I've just said that, haven't I? The kids at home. So me and Dexter are going to clean out my car and take it to the car wash. And I've told Dexter he can make Rice Krispie cakes. I picked up some Rice Krispies. I've got absolutely tons of bars of chocolate in my cooking baking cupboard. Oh, and next week, when I've got a free day, I've decided I'm going to do a video, which I'm sure you'll all like. It might have to be um, in two, even three episodes. What I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna make a list of what's in my cupboard. So I'm gonna empty my cupboards, see what's in my cupboards, 
write it down and then make some meals because if you've probably noticed I haven't been doing as many shopping hauls I am saving a lot of money by using bits that we've got and just picking up the odd couple of bits and I'm not spending the hundreds of pounds a week that I was because I was spending between I'd say two three hundred pounds a week on food which is ridiculous Yes, I know, ridiculous. So, I'm going to incorporate what we've got in the cupboards, what we've got in the freezer. At the moment, Jackson's computer is on our dining room table and we've ordered him a new desk which came yesterday. So at the weekend, Warren's gonna put that up and his computer will be gone. So I'll have my dining room table and I will video and what's in my cupboard. I will probably stick some of it on Olio and give it away and yeah just sort my cupboard out so hmm that'll be um, something to watch I've also got stuff in my um, freezer that I need to get rid of and there's just stuff everywhere so I could potentially not go shopping for a while. Obviously, still need top up bits. Anyway, I need to try and find a parking space now, so I'll catch up with you in a bit. So, just come out the opticians. I tell you what, if you live in Church Village, it's a little opticians called Davis and Lowry. I'm just sitting opposite it now. They're so helpful in there. Just been in. They've um completely changed um, Dexter's glasses, even though it's not due for any. He's got a complete new pair on order now. They're really nice, they're thick black ones that got like a faded, um, like ombre effect. So they're on order. Hopefully they'll um, hold up a bit more than these other ones. Mum's just got some new glasses on order and they are really nice pink, pinky purpley ones. And they've got no frame at the bottom then because she's having problem with the bottom of her glasses. So she's got frameless ones at the bottom. And I've put a recommendation thing on Facebook asking. And if anyone lives near me, I live in Church Village, right? And I had my eyebrows microbladed a few times now by one of the nicest people on earth my friend Kelly who I met when I lived down in Surrey and I was traveling down there and having them done but I don't really want to travel to Surrey and she's tending to do more other beautician things like Botox and lip fillers and all that rather than eyebrows so I can't go back there to have them done and I draw them in every day and oh, it's a pain so I'm on the lookout to get them microbladed so I'm asking if anybody knows, oh, it's like your tattoo. If anybody um, knows of any good places near me, I mean, I'm, I'm willing to travel a little bit, but I don't want to drive three hours to go and get them done. But because it's on your face, I don't want to just go to Joe Bloggs down the road and end up with a pair of slugs on my eyes. So, yeah, if you know anyone who does some good microblading near me, let me know. But I don't want recommendations that you know Fanny Ann down the road, whose sister's brother's uncle's wife's had it done, you know? I want recommendations of people that have had them done and are pleased with them. If it was like a tattoo anywhere else, I wouldn't mind. And I painted my nails this morning. This is just a normal nail varnish colour, not gel nails. And I thought I'd have a change and just do that because although I love the gel nails, I suppose it's nice to give them a breather and not um, do that. Anyway, we're off to Porth now, to Morrison's, and we're going to have some lunch with one of my old work colleagues. And I've got my mother. All right, Mum? Yeah. Are you there? Say hello. Sun in your eyes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and then Dex is in the back, as you can see. Oh, God. Right. We will um, see you. Oh, my car. 
I got my car serviced in 13,000 miles. It's just come up to tell me. No, that's a lie. 1,300 miles, not 13,000 miles. Or 17 months. Well, I think I'm going to do the 1,300 miles before... What's it done? This car's done 14,607 miles. Time for a new car, I think, Mum, do you? Mum? Time for a new car. Yeah, can you get, like, a big one? Yeah, we're going to get a Tesla. Tesla. Fancy coming to look at them with me next week? Serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I want a Tesla next. Oh, I can't get my thing. Don't worry, Tesla. I want a Tesla. Do you want to come with me to have a look, Mum? I don't know. I'll have to find out where Tesla garages are. There's probably one in Cardiff. Let's go this way. Will Elon Musk be there? Will Elon Musk be at the Tesla Elon garage? Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. <laughs> well, haven't, you, haven't you got this one for a certain period? I've got this one this until so July, not this year, next year, but you can change it whenever you want. And the thing is, if, if you change it too quick, you get stung. Yeah. I'm, all, I'm always getting stung, so I might yeah. as well get stung again. Well, if you get 50 for this car, we'll probably pay 30 get 50 for this car, what, 50 pound? No, 50,000. They're not going to give me 50,000 for a car that cost me 30 in the first place, darling. No, um, so what happens is... Um, Are you giving me car advice? No, you can, you can have it, you can have it. 10,000 less, they could sell it, you could ask them, and then Grandma pays 30, so then it's... Grandma's not paying anything, love. Have you tried the cup for bags? Yeah, they haven't got any. Mummy pays for the car. No, but So, like... it'll be me. Anyway, that'll be something to do next week, maybe. Or, well, Daddy will come home and say, you're not changing your car. To be fair, I do like this car. Well, but it's been the worst car I've ever had for little niggly issues. But then the Tesla's small though. It doesn't look safe. But are you but, willing to get the Tesla family car? Yeah, it'd be the bigger one. And i got to say, I know some people don't like electric. I love my electric car. And even though electric's gone up in price and, and whatnot, I am definitely sticking with an electric car. I absolutely love it. It's like driving a go-kart. Absolutely love it. Speaking I love, love, electric, love it. Electric power. So it will be another electric car. But yeah, I definitely do fancy a Tesla. Right, let's go. Oh dear, someone's got a DVLA wheel clamp on their car there. Oh, maybe they haven't paid for their tax. What's that for? No tax on it. Well, DVLA, so I would imagine it's no tax on their car. Warren's car's being MOT'd um, next Monday. He's got the day off. Well, they do it on a Saturday. Not there, no. Right, we're off to Morrison's, so I will catch up with you in Morrison's. Where, if we've got time, we'll probably go around and get a couple of bits, but I don't even know what I'm making for tea tonight. I might pick up some mints. I know I've just said about using everything I've got in the cupboards, but meat-wise, there's no meat to such there, so I will probably get some mince or some chicken and then use something I've got in the house. We shall see. We shall see. I shall see you in a bit. So in Morrison's Cafe now. I've got ham and cheese toasty for 539 calories. And I'm having this. And this is 258 calories. Look, Dexter looks very ill, doesn't he? Not to be in school. And he's having scampi and chips. 
Then my mother's having a toastie in her shirt. We're going to eat this now. We're going to have a quick look around the shop. And then by the time we've done that, it's going to be time to get the other kids from school. Also got a Diet Coke, but I don't count them. So, see you in a bit. So we're back in the car, going home. Bought that for my uh, wooden floors downstairs. Picked up these. 81 calories each. We're going to have one. There's three in the box. So, we're going to have one each. 81 calories. Let's see how big they are. You are, Dexter. Oh, come on. Put effort in. Take it then. Take it. You know what, there's nothing like that charge, there's nothing that weigh me up. Yeah. Thank you. And... This last one. I'll stick that down there. It's not bad for 81 calories, it's quite big. Flying away. Oh, no. <laughs> <gasps> God, he was lucky. Brand new car as well. I wouldn't have been happy if that had been my car. It's an old man let go of his trolley and it was heading for a brand new car. He caught it just before it hit it. Yeah, they're not bad. They had salted caramel or raspberry. Hmm. Quite nice, Sam. Um. Oh, a bit ripped. But not video myself eating, you know. <gasps> Shock horror. People don't like it. Tough, I say. You don't like it, don't watch it. Yeah, that's right. Don't like it, don't watch it. Oh, so, just back from Morrison's. I've got 10 minutes, just 10 minutes before I got to school. So I'll show you what I picked up. There wasn't anything that exciting, I gotta say. We're having for tea tonight, something I haven't done in ages. I'm gonna do burger in a bowl. So we need a burger sauce. So I picked up this burger sauce because it was a pound cheaper than Heinz. It is 35 calories for a tablespoon of that one. Can't have burger in a bowl without burger sauce. So I got that. My two little men are desperate for pants because they seem to have just all of a sudden grown. And I really struggled to find sizes. Now I got 12 to 13. They only had this open packet and somebody had pulled a pair out to see obviously what size they look like. So I picked them up, um, 12 to 13. And then I thought Dexter, because Dexter's thicker set than Jackson. And I was thinking Dexter will probably fit in um, <coughs> small men's. So I picked up a small men's as well, just to see if he fits into them. And they are trunks, so he might fit in them. So I got those for them. I picked up two. Oh, no, they're not for you, Tom. Don't panic. He hears the rustling and he thinks it's in. I've got corn coblets, or corn in the cob. Possibly we will have these with our burger in a bowl. Ooh, it says calories on you. How bizarre, it doesn't, you know. Or does it? It doesn't. I'll stick it on the screen, but... Do you know what? I thought they had to put... By law, calories. But all it says is that an 80 gram serving counts as one portion of the five a day. I'll find out and stick it on screen what one of them is. I got some Bavarian ham off the deli. This one is 28 calories for a quarter of the pack. Picked up these for Warren to take to work. I thought you might like them because he takes coffees 
And the coffees are 68 calories and these are 56 calories. So I thought I might make a change instead of having coffee all day long. You might have like a bit of oxtail soup, you know. So got those for him for work. I have got an iceberg lettuce in the fridge, but it's only a small one. And I picked up another one because this is what we'll use in tonight's. I don't give the animals iceberg lettuce because apparently it bloats their stomachs, iceberg, for some reason. Picked up three Adani Kebab pot noodles because they were on offer for 50p. And yes, the kids like them. And yes, I do let my children eat pot noodles, even though it's terrible food. 413 calories for one of those. So I just got three of them. Picked up this rice because tomorrow I'm going to bingo. I haven't been for a while. Every I think the last two or three times I said I'm going. My friend hasn't been able to come. So And then one night I couldn't go. So we haven't been for a while. So I picked this up for Warren um, to have tomorrow night as part of his tea. This is 187 for half of the pack. I also picked up this ham off the deli and this one is, I'll tell you what my eyesight, it is getting worse in my old age. This one is 38 calories a slice. The slices are quite big and they are actually quite thick. So I got that one. I also picked up some steak mints to do the burger in a bowl. I did get the 5%. I will get the 5% where I can because obviously it is lower in calorie. And I will stick, no I won't, the calories are there. 121 for 100 grams of that one. So I've got that. I got a big bag of spinach for Tom. Yeah, not chirping now, are you Tom? Yeah. Got a big bag of nice, fresh, green spinach for Tom and Honey, the little rodents that we have. Um, this spinach, if we were using it, is 22 calories for 100 grams. So I will be giving him some of that in a minute. I also treated him and his mate, Honey, some pak choy because it was a yellow sticker. So they have got pak choy, one each. So we are having those? Picked up some Crucial's Light Mayo. I didn't know they did a light mayo. So I thought I'd give that a go. This one is 240 calories for 100 grams. So obviously you would only use about 15 grams of that maybe unless you're a mayo addict. What else did I get? I got this gingerbread man, lady, person, to come with me to bingo tomorrow night. I think it was with all like the Valentine stuff because of the heart. But I just like the look of that one. So 229 calories for that. I also picked up some floor cleaner. It's safe on wood. And it is an orange peel smell. It's quite nice, quite orangey, like it says. So I got that. What else did we have? That's me one bag. Picked up some more coffee because I noticed the coffee was nearly down. I don't drink this, Warren does. Um, but it'll only be another couple of days. And he was saying we need coffee. So I picked it up while I saw it. Um... You know, I looked at this before and it doesn't tell you the calories on it. But it's supposed to make 111 mugs. I'll stick on screen calories for Nescafe anyway. Picked up some more toilet rolls because we go through so much toilet rolls. It's unbelievable. The kids just go through, I don't know what they do with it. I'm sure they must eat it. Oh, what else did we get? Come on then, Dexter. The door's creaking. No, he's not. It'll be next door's dog. Our dog doesn't bark. Right. Pickled red onion. 
I've had this before from Marks and Spencers and it's really nice. So I've got this one. I thought I'd give it a go, see if it was just as nice. Let's give that door a squirt, it's squeaking. 36 calories for 50 grams drained. So they would be nice. I might have some of them on my uh, burger in a bowl tonight, but I got them. I also got some of these because Warren absolutely loves sweet onions. So I got them because they are obviously a low calorie I wouldn't say treat, but a row, ca uh, a row calorie, a low calorie, something to nibble on. Because he occasionally goes in the kitchen and he's like, oh, what can I just have to eat that's low? So can I have a couple of pickled onions? 21 calories, 400 grams of them. This is the other thing I picked up. It's one of his favourites. So tomorrow night while I'm out, he can have chilli and rice. It's just a classic stag chili. I did buy the dynamite version of this once and Warren can handle anything as in curry wise, he can eat a vindaloo. But that, he said, you when I, I remember making it for him and you could smell the heat, if you know what I mean. You could smell it and he couldn't even eat it. He said it was so hot, it ruined it. So he has the classic one. And this is, for half a can, 260 calories. That one. I also picked up this. And I'll show you why I picked up this in a sec. But I got this. This is new. It's Power Foam Bathroom and... Well, toilet and Bathroom Cleaner. I got this just to clean my downstairs toilet with. Um... They had the blue one as well, which is like the original smell, I think. Just like a bleach smell, is it? But this is the Citrus Blast. So I've got that. And then I picked up this. It's the 1-2 Spray Spare Mop Head. And the reason I picked up the Spare, spare Mop Head is because I got the Spray Mop. Is that well, one, two, one, two Spray? So you can spray out and mop the floor. So I've had all wooden um, or laminate grey flooring downstairs, all right through my kitchen, my downstairs, my toilet. The whole of the downstairs is in the same floor room when we had the kitchen done. Um, and to save me getting out a mop and bucket and all that, I thought I'd just have one of them just to mop over the floor when I've swept it. Um, Dexter is dying to have a go at this when we get back now from school. I said he could. So, yeah, I got that. But £24 this was. £24. And I was like, £24. And the head, the spare head was 6 75 I think. It's a lot of money. But I suppose you're paying for the name because it's by leader. They do do cheaper versions in, I think, Asda. I've seen one in Asda, but it's got quite a big, bulky container where the spray goes. And this one has got just a really small vessel, if you call it, if you will. You can see it but there. It's just a small vessel on the handle. So, you know, I'm not going to be mopping masses and masses and masses of areas in one go. So I don't need it to have a big, massive tank on it. So I got that. So yeah, Warren will be like, what have you bought now? Anyway, I got that just to do the downstairs floors because upstairs is all carpet apart from the bathroom. So that's everything I picked up. Nothing exciting as such. So I'm going to give Tom and Honey their veggies and I'm going to go up to school to get the other two children. And then back home i've got no oleos on as yet there was a slot that came up this morning for permanent place in ponte and tesco the same day i've got the iceland one and i was like oh i could do that because the iceland one's so small however i'd gone in to get it and it had gone the slots unless you're super duper quick the slots they go like that because apparently there's so many people now that want to volunteer to get a slot is um a bit more difficult so right I'll see you in a bit. Is my dinner tonight? It is 470 calories. It's burger in a bowl. There is absolutely loads of vegetables in there. Iceberg lettuce, cucumber, red onion, 
tomatoes and I've made a burger mix with just 5% mince, onion and garlic. I've used some of these red onions, you can just see them sticking out there. And then what I call plastic cheese. So I'll put a breakdown on screen. But that is my dinner. Now that burger in a bowl was a delicious. That's actually a recipe I got when I was going to Slimming World. But we do have it um, now and again because it's really nice. Kids love it. So I've just slipped down the local shop and picked up these. And yes. I'm going to eat both of these. 193 calories each. So I'm going to watch a bit of telly. It's 10 o'clock at night. Eat these. And I've still got 170 calories left, which I'm not going to use. So I'm going to eat those guilt-free. And I will see you tomorrow. Busy day tomorrow. Two of the kids are off school. My eldest has got a hospital appointment about his leg when he had his operation. And then I'm going to bingo with Jess in the night. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. Bye.